what I've gone through the last three years defending this case is not anything to talk about. It's painful, but I don't take it against him. I can only ask him to reflect, not to be unfair to his fellow citizens. And I want to thank my family, my children who have suffered anguish, pain during the time that I was being prosecuted. But uh, like it is said in the Bible, only the truth will come out and will set us free. So my young brother Tyler, you know I feel it for you, but please learn to be fair. If you are joining me for the first time, please remember to click subscription button and hit that notification bell to be the first person to receive the video that will be produced by DevTech Media. DevTech Media, updating you. DevTech Media, subscribe to DevTech Media. After appearing before the Lusaka Magistrate Court on accusation of forgery, taking pecuniary advantage, and being in possession of property suspected to be proceeds of crime, amounting to over 6 million kwacha, among other charges for close to three years, former National Democratic Congress leader Tishimba Kambli will have to wait for two more months for the court to deliver its judgment. Lusaka High Court Judge Mwaka Mikalili, sitting as principal magistrate Thursday morning, says she is going to give a judgment in the matter in September. This was after all the accused persons finished giving their testimonies. And commenting on their awaiting judgment, this is what Dr. Kambli had to say. I cannot say what you expect from, from, from the court because that is prejudice. I cannot prejudice, prejudice my own case. Uh, uh, what is just important is that I'm happy that the matter has come to a close and we are only waiting for, for a judgment. I've been going to court for the past uh, uh, three years on this matter. And today I can only say I'm happy that it has come to, to, to a stage where we are only waiting for, for judgment. But to say what the court is going to rule is actually not right because you don't discuss a matter that is in court. This case dates back to the year 2018 when the former NDC leader Kambuli was arrested and charged with 39 counts of different charges. His son too, Mwamba, has been implicated in this case. Mwamona Engineering and Technical Services, two Zambia Revenue Authority ZRA employees, Musonda Lukwesa, a senior inspector, and Mulenga Kapilima, a former revenue officer, have also been jointly charged in this case. The two ZRA officials are alleged to have prepared a false document indicating that Mwamona was tax compliant when not. And when the matter came up Thursday morning for continued defense, the last accused person, Mulenga Kapilima, a former ZRA employee, in her testimony, disclosed that the tax clearance certificate, which is before court in relation to Momona Company, is an authentic document which she issued herself to Momona in 2014. She told the court that from 2015 till date, Momona has been issued tax clearance because it is tax compliant. She denied ever issuing a fake tax clearance certificate to Momona Company. It is alleged in one of the counts that Momona Engineering and Cambri, between August 1, 2014 and September 30, 2016, in Lusaka, jointly and whilst acting together by means of false pretense, dishonestly obtained money from China Henan International Group Corporation Limited, purporting that Momona, a company which was subcontracted, was executing works on Wingo Mansa Road when in fact not. 9th September 2021, has been said as Judgment Day. This is what Dr. Kambli had to say. I cannot say what you expect from, from, the, from the court because that is prejudice. I cannot prejudice, prejudice my own case. Uh, uh, what is just important is that I'm happy that the matter has come to a close and we are only waiting for, for a judgment. I've been going to court for the past uh, three years on this matter. And today I can only say I'm happy that it has come to a, to, to a stage where we are only waiting for, for judgment. But to say what the court is going to rule is actually not right because you don't discuss a matter that is in court. Thank you very much for tuning in at DevTech Media. Remember, DevTech Media is the media that shares news, trending videos, political news, gospel music, as well as entertainment. Please. Don't forget to click that subscription button and that notification bell to be the very first person to receive the video that will be produced and posted by DevTech Media. 
DevTechMedia, updating you.